Hi, this is my Quincy QT54 air compressor. This will be uh, part two. I'm gonna go ahead and torque the heads down to manufacturer specifications. I actually have, right now, I have, looks like 1.8 hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque the heads and uh, let's see where we'll go from there. Now, I've already torqued these prior to filming this. But I'll, I'll go ahead and take you through the motions here. Um, when this comes, well, this this unit, when it came from the factory, the exhaust hole was actually pointed downward, which blows all the heat back on the cylinder heads. I per, prefer to have it to to one side or the other, but not downward on the, uh, the cylinder heads. So the best way to torque these heads, I found, was to take this off. And this is your exhaust. And this way you can flex the three-quarter copper tubing to one side or the other to get to the bolts. These two bolts, they're pretty difficult to get to. I'll show you those in a minute. They're kind of hard to get to, but the best way to do that was, and then you can get to that bolt right there, and then you get to the one to the other side. Now, the other way to do it is you go ahead and loosen at this union here. And then you can loosen it here at, at this point and get the same effect. But I'd rather keep these sealed. I just found it easier just to flex the tube a little bit. Now what I found out with my torque wrench, which I pur purchased on Amazon here, um, it's either out of sequence or the foot pounds is out of sequence by one foot pound minus or plus. I'm not sure at this point, but I have a feeling at the factory, their torque wrench may be off of one foot pound. And the reason I say that, because if you're torquing heads constantly all day and you're an assembly plant, your torque wrench is gonna get out of calibration. And actually you should have your torque wrenches, meters and stuff like that calibrated at least once a year minimum. If you're in a high production plant, I recommend every 30 days or less to have your torque wrench recalibrated, but that's just me. And there is a sequence to torque in these heads that I found on the web, crisscross sequence. There is six bolts per head. So you actually torque with one, two, three, four, and you do this pattern. That way you don't get any warpage and it's done correctly. The same thing you would do like on your car rim or anything like that. There is a crisscross torquing sequence. In the parts manual it calls for 21 foot pounds. To be on the safe side, I'm gonna stay at 20 foot pounds because I don't want to overstretch the threads that are on the heads. So in doing so, I found, I start off what I did is I start off at 15 foot pounds, then 18 foot pounds, then I move up to 19. I just don't set it at 20 or 21 and just go for it. I believe in doing it in sequence, stepping it up in three, four, five pound increments until you get to the uh, foot pound you need. And you could start, I would start maybe 10 foot pounds less than what the manufacturer calls for, then work your way up. So in doing so, I had found that these were set, the outer ones, these four outer ones on both heads were set at 14 foot pounds. And then I'd say one, two, three, four, these, these five were set at 14 foot pounds on each head. The two difficult ones that were difficult to get to were set at 20 foot pounds. So I don't know why that was. I don't know if something happened at the assembly plant or wherever it may be. They got sidetracked and forgot to bring the remaining head bolts to 21 inch pounds. So in saying so, that tells me again that their torque wrench is off one foot pound or mine is off one foot pound. But regardless, I'm staying at 20. So I, I adjusted, I, I brought these to 15. Then I went to 18, then I went to 20. And then uh, for some reason, I did have a, a air leak. It was really small, but I noticed maybe that might've been, that could have sealed 
the little air leak I was having. It could have, I'm not sure. But I isolated the tank and I, from the rest of my um, hose reel and other units and it was leaking from the tank side. So the only thing I had done is torque the heads and my pressure still, my pressure's holding. It's not leaking at this point. So I recommend that um, you break in your heads, then you retorque them. And then when I retorqued them, I retorqued them um, at room temperature. So it's probably about 69, 70 degrees. And I have it in the shop. So the motor hasn't been running technically for two days. I should say the pump or the compressor hasn't been running for two days. Um, so that'd be a true torque. And again, they were out of torque sequence. So I'm glad that I did go ahead and torque those and it may be in your benefit to do the same thing. So again, torque sequence, your foot pounds, and this is just a torque wrench I picked up off Amazon for about $25. And make sure you tighten the back nut before you torque. Don't use these to reverse a bolt off. Use another ratchet or socket if you over tighten to loosen it and bring it back where you need to bring it back. But these are not meant to go in the other direction. Even though there's a forward and reverse on these in a sense. But there is bolts that are clockwise and counterclockwise, so that's beneficial in that way. And then I would recommend after you're done, taking all the tension off your torque wrench. And if it's something you're going to use all the time in a shop or something like that, have, have your employer, you know, send them out and have everything recalibrated. And you get a little certificate and you get a little decal or sticker on your, your torque wrench that says it's been cert certified to torque specification and it's dead on. But I'm not gonna worry too much about one foot pound. And if you like this video, hit like. And if you have any questions, I can go ahead and share that with you. Then of course, I'll put my exhaust back on. Um, but I was just taking off to show you. And then again, I had already torqued these prior to this video. It was too hard to hold the camera and torque them at the same time. So I just wanted to share the process and how it was done and what had happened. So just don't assume because it came from the factory that everything is tor uh, correct as far as torque. And then things do back off. So you don't want to overstretch your heads, I mean your bolts. So if I was to do uh, down the road, put new heads on these or head gaskets, obviously I would not reuse these bolts because technically they're stretched at that point. I recommend putting new bolts and I'm sure Quincy offers new bolts with a head kit. And then uh, I think that completes this video and I will have another video. I will be putting an after cooler on, even though it doesn't require it, it doesn't really need one. I just thought it'd be something to be fun to do. Um, and then I'll post that as I go along. And thank you for your time.